Welcome back Academy. Today's video is going to be another training session where I'm going to be looking at the replays. This won't be as in depth since I already did one of those. We're going to be saving our replays, um, giving it a quick look over. It's going to be the short version if you would like the uh, longer version. Then uh, there's the video, it's the four hour one that uh, we really went into depth. And uh, as you notice, we have the Tibetan Zen music in the background. That's something that we were listening to the last time while I was listening to. And uh, because that wasn't my traditional video, I just said, screw it. I'm going to break my rule a bit, not use Mons music or gaming music. And uh, it's just going to be a vibe kind of like uh, chilling with, with me and um, we ladder together, learn together, um, boost our brains as a unit, as a fraternity. And then people really liked that video. Like one of my friends was like, I was kind of sad when it got to the end. I'm like, dude, you saw the whole thing. And uh, yeah, it was like, it's just something cool to have in the background. And so we're going to be doing, I can't say, this one's probably not going to be four hours. Just keeping it buck with you. But um, yeah, we're going to do this style. Give me some feedback if you like the more like once every t once every other day or once every two day really long video or like really short videos every day also the art of war for competitive pokemon players moon and sun version will be coming out this saturday guys we need to kill this one it's going to be available in audiobook ebook and a physical book as it says there imagine sun Tzu is your personal pokemon mentor guiding you through Battles like a master teaching his student. Every battle becomes a game of chess where each move is carefully planned. If you love strategy, gaming, and a little ancient wisdom, this book is made for you. It takes complicated ideas and breaks them down into simple lessons. It's like feeding rare candies to your brain. Uh, from the first chapter, you'll be able to put your new found knowledge into action, turn it into real victory. So um yeah guys prepare on saturday more details to come some people have been asking about pre-orders and things like that uh, i i considered pre-ordering doing the pre-order thing but since it's so close to the date it wouldn't be you know very useful to do that i'll just notify everybody you'll see it on the channel it's gonna be it's a big deal and one of those covers won't will be available for only a few weeks so the moon and the sun cover, sun edition, moon edition. Um, yeah. And so funnily enough, most people are like, man, I love the sun one, but I'm like, I'm going to lie. I'm a moon kind of guy. Like I, I, I fuck with the moon one more, but I love both of them. And so shout outs to Joey and Skarzig for making this a reality. And so let's get into this fun game. We're using a new team. Uh, we probably lost a lot of points to Decay. I haven't played in almost a week. But we'll enjoy ourselves and keep it pushing. Um, I like Dragapult a lot in this one. Very useful, very sexy, very handsome. Um, Skarmory's core purpose is going to be to check the Roaring Moon. Maybe the Zamazenta, we'll see. But primarily the Morning, the morning Moon, the Roaring Moon. Um, Slow King is going to be there to keep Kyurem and the Raging Bolt. And the Iron Moth and the well, it doesn't really damage the Cobalion thing at bay, but Slow Slow King has a lot of responsibility in this one. My Garg is on this team. This guy has a uh, shout us to I'll oh, shout him out. My Garg's for Iron Moth to some extent they do tend to run uh, Terror Ground. It seems so not, not too safe, but um, yeah, it's a very offensive team very uh hard hitting <clears throat> glycore is knock eq and things like that which is actually quite good versus this team once the hero dies um dragapult offensively is an absolute menace to his build and he doesn't seem to have rocks or maybe the cobalion thing is a rocker so curum is the curum isn't the biggest thing the cobalion thing is my biggest issue as the officer cure him, <clears throat> I'm gonna go hard. Um, Sloking one, I can't knock him out. Two, I don't want to risk him tearing. This Dragapult with the infiltrator is gonna be really key um, to shut down potential Zamazenta or Iron Moth, just its natural typing. 
So we're going to play this very slowly, step by step. Um, Gliscor is good for the, the Raging Bolt matchup. Um, otherwise, it's a little tricky. Garganical is just pesky with Stealth Rocks up. Um, and so right here, one would assume he'd either go to the Cobalion thing or he'd uh, go straight for the uh, Terra Ice Beam. If he just leaves it in and would have died to a Specs Draco, then you know you know what you know. Yeah, so that gives me all the insight I need to know. Dude just stays in. Um, the Dragon Dances. Okay. That gives me a lot of data. She's 1600, so I'm not too shocked by that, but I need to switch out my sloking here. Because he would have just died to a, <clears throat> a Draco Meteor here. He's clearly, um, what's that thing called? He's clearly, um, cannot remember that item's name. I'm terrifying on this car. Uh, this Kirim is an issue. It's actually a really big deal, <clears throat> especially because I'm not my usual Terra. I might use your Iron Defense Garganical. So he chooses to Terra Ground this, which pretty bad. But because my Gliscor uh, Terra Ground, huh? it's pretty bad because of the uh, the Icicle Spear goes through Skarmory's Defense Boost. Um, Terra Ground. Well, let me think about this from the long, long run of the game. This is super interesting because I just could have killed his Kyurem turn one. So why lead if you can't beat Dragapult? I don't think Darce would have killed him. I'm just not Specs, which is why I didn't Draco. If I was Specs, I'd have killed him. Um, but we're dealing with Terra Ground, Dragon Dance. Uh, he Icicle Spears here for sure. There's a, it's a waste of time for me to, um, Garg won't die, but it's a waste of time for me to Salt here. So I'll get these rocks up for later. <clears throat> Is Raging Bolt useless? Terra Fairy has its place. I'm not a booster energy one. I'll protect first the Icicle Spears again, and then I'll have to go to Skarmory and, uh, a combination of Skarm. So, this puts me in a really awkward spot, but it's far from over, especially because I forced the terror. My Dragon Pulse is a really big issue, and my sloking. So uh, I could go Gliscor and Terra Water that. And just EQ. Scale Shot wouldn't kill me if I keep him at plus one. We're actually going to do that. Um, for one, I'm pretty confident he's just going to go for Dragon Dance. Expecting me to protect, but if he scale shots, then he dies to EQ. Yeah, this is perfect because now the EQ damage plus scale shot <clears throat> just protect and I KO him. Plus, Gliscor is typing is actually really good here. His raging bolts a problem, but since he can't terrestrialize, uh, it puts me in a position of power. Uh, yeah, those um, special attack boost. My Dragapult is key. Uh, my Gliscor is actually. Decent for Iron Crown and Iron Moth. So I'll keep this for sure. Uh, Calm Mind is irrelevant because of the Dragon Pulse Dragon Darts, but we want to make sure that I can take this on. Mm. Uh, I don't like my Raging Bolt being so slow. I'm going to change some things on this team, most likely. Uh, he's timid, he's faster than my. And I'm not a hundred on whether Dragapult's darts can KO. So we're gonna go Raging Bolt here because Gliscor is a little more valuable as he Dragon Pulses. Um, uh, this is a pain. Let me run the calc on this. Actually, what I could do is. No, I just need to know if this shit kills. If 
I don't kill it and it's faster, then I could lose the game. All right, so Slow King comes in. Um, sludge Bomb, perfect. And I should survive. If I don't survive, then I'm fucked. Yeah, I barely survive. And he gets the para. The Pokemon is still Pokemon. My Jarpo is going to take a bit of damage here, a lot of damage. But the biggest threat to my Gliscor is gone and my Polt is still alive. Keeping Polt alive is going to be key. So Skarm is there for Roaring Moon, Zenta, and I have full health Gliscor and Polt. So, yeah. So Iron Moth comes in. It's surprising because Iron Moth shouldn't be able to one shot me, but score smacks for that so I can take any one hit. Um, and we just Earthquake here. There's no reason to ever um, to risk him going for Substitute. Um, plus Glide scores again, typing is excellent. Um, the power on my Sloking might end up mattering because my Dragapult is going to be Willow Wisping. Um, and so he goes hard, uh, Roaring Moon, which is great. For me, I just Iron Defense here. Uh, oh shit, that did a lot more than I expected, but I'll live the next one. <clears throat> because that was wit item plus one maybe okay Zamazenta comes in the spikes I go hard pull here on his oh yeah it's reflect that's interesting uh, Willow is here please hit it's a really important Willow is a very important turn we were very patient with this infiltrator is a big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't like how slow my iron, my raging bolt is, particularly because this team is very raging bolt susceptible. Our mind beats slow king. But it had toxic on this. I'm pretty sure it's for that thing. So, um, quite the game we have on our hands early. Reflect Zama Zenta is very interesting because if he loses the Zenta, then he really, I mean, he loses the Iron Crown. He really struggles with Skarmory. Uh, I score to some extent, but I score super low. And I don't have my resist typing, so not as reliable. Reflect. Quite interesting. And it's not leftovers. I think it's screens. I mean, it's light clay. Ah, okay. That was interesting. Okay, we connect. That's a huge hit. And he doesn't seem to be able to touch. Oh, this is perfect. Gliscor is literally the best case scenario for me. Um, so let me think about this. Knock this turn. Booster energy. What is this? Online. This might not be good. But I just allowed him to get a shot. I can't let him come on again. I'm not sure if I died to this door power. I have a lot of spadef. Psychic noise. Okay, so it's not store power, which is a big deal. Uh, my score can't heal, but he has to attack here. He has three turns of reflect. It'd be a matter of Skarm's iron defense can KO. Uh, psychic noise. Now he'd have stored power and psychic noise. So I just EQ here. <laughs> Gotta get this right. Protect first turn. Yeah, he should psychic noise the first turn. Um. 
I just don't know what else he could have. Dragapult eats Zenta and Roaring Moon. Uh, it knocks out my score. I go Skarm. I Roost, I think. I don't know what to expect from this. Focus Blast, shit. Hopefully it doesn't, it's very unlikely to, to, to land two of those. Yeah, very unlikely. He'd have been mad lucky. Me. Okay, so I need to be mindful of um, screens and iron round. It almost caught me. But it's actually more in my favor for him to miss the second one. So, that's not um, too bad. And because the Zenta is burnt, Skarm is in a position of power, so I just Iron Defense and sweep. Uh, especially because the Roaring Moon lost the boost and I don't have my item. And knock Off should be his strongest move. Um, the other one would be Acrobatic, so that's a really critical turn. Really, really critical turn. The, probably the biggest turn is the Willow is hitting. Just on the off chance that Zamazenta was some, um, some um, strange variant, so... Oh shit, of course I have it. Alright, I was supposed to save the replay there and scan through it, but I can kind of scan through my brain. So at this point in it, we would we would um, take the data from the first game so we can take it into the second one. Right? And so uh, there's a more detailed review process, as I mentioned in the first vid. Uh, we're not going to go over that today. What I'm going to do is the simplistic process that you should do. Uh, particularly if you're new or if you struggle with frustration um, this is something that I have my students go through and I've always gone through excuse me for the past couple of years um, it's excellent for training your brain on how to look for what matters and what uh, and that's going what did I learn and what did I do well what this does is typically when you're learning anything before a certain point, 99% of what you're doing is wrong. So if you were to focus on fixing what you did incorrectly, it would actually be counterproductive. And so in the beginning, and this doesn't necessarily even mean that in the beginning, like you're, you know, 1000, I'm talking even up to 1700. That said, you know, I had a guy go through this process in one of my um, customized coaching sessions. And uh, he, he went from 1300 to 1700 in four weeks just knowing that i never taught him anything new in terms of con like actual knowledge or that's all he did the same team and then he had to keep only asking himself what did i learn what did i do well most players don't ever look at what they do well and what it does is it amplifies the thing you do well so you're going to remember to do it the next game when you only focus on what did i do wrong one for the most part, when people do that, they point out what they did wrong, kind of. And I say kind of, but that's a whole other video. But more importantly, they don't actually say what I should have done instead. They only focus on what oh, I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have. You're going to should yourself to the bottom of the ladder. So instead, take the 1% you're doing right and amplify it. You're going to amplify that so many times over the next 10 games that that 1% will, will turn to 5 but the thing is, you're going to know how to do that 5% so unconsciously competently, so autopilot-like, that that alone is going to soar your points. And so you're going to emphasize what you do correctly throughout your entire training process. And then later on, probably until you're like 16, highest 1600s, maybe 1700s, you start really focusing on um, what you could have done instead. But before that, honestly, I found that most players just need to focus on what they did well and what they learned. And so today we learned Dragon Dance Curum is an optionality. We learned that um, Combine Reflect Iron Crown is a problem, particularly to me. Combine Sweepers to this team, you can see, would be an issue. Um, and it runs booster energy, so that's something that I need to be mindful of. Um, I learned that Garganical, this version of it is max defense, so it eats plus two Curum. I also learned that Curum can run um, terror ground, so that's something to be mindful of in case he was like terror ground uh, substitute or something. I probably would have lost. Uh, what else were we looking at? I learned that. Oh yeah, 
raging bolt is my raging bolt is too slow I'm, not, I'm good on the boat brother I need some speed I do not want to lose that's that any speed ties if you're timid you're timid but I'm I want a shot here and so um, yeah raging bolts a huge problem for this team I have to be mindful of that also probably should calc how much this dragon darts on dragon bolt does to things because there were two situations where I was dealing with bulky dragons that um, could have died to the pulp and because I don't know the calc. Uh, what else did we learn? I learned that those reflect Zentas potentially run roar. And I have to be mindful of store power psychic voice. Or if he was store power, that could have been bad. What else? Did anything else? Is there anything else new? Roaring moons. Plus one knockoff does around 70 to Skyrim, so in a play like that, you actually don't iron defense. Took way too much from that. You only iron defense if they're not boosted yet. Uh, Slow King takes, I think, 69 from plus one combine Thunderbolt from Raging Bolt. And uh, that's about it. Hmm. What did I do well? I really, really focused the Skarm on the position it needed to be in, right? I didn't send it in too early and recklessly like it was there for a particular purpose. Another thing I liked is that on the Raging Bolt turn, when it was a glass core versus Raging Bolt, he did Dragon Pulse, which knows whatever. But um, if he didn't Dragon Pulse, and uh, yeah, if he didn't Dragon Pulse, uh, and he thunderbolted into my glass core and he happened to be faster than me it would have put me in a bind right and so i'm really glad that i made the objective best play and then make the objective best play with the slow king matchup fortunately we got the poison but what, as long as i had the damage it was important for dragapult's dragon darts to kale um i really liked how i dealt with the the um what was the thing that was going to give us trouble? The Curum with the Gliscor matchup. Protecting and then Terra watering. And, and like that was, that was a really, really good sequence. Because I could have went Skarmory first. But he would have surely attacked the Skarm. If I go Gliscor first. He's going to think, okay, he's just going Gliscor to protect. So let me Dragon Dance that turn. But I used the Terra water to bait him and attack. Plus, even if he scale shot it, I would have lived. So... I used that turn to EQ, then utilize the protect next turn, which meant Skarm took no damage and Gliscor took no damage. So that was a nifty way of, of solving that problem. So it's things like those you're going to reinforce. And what that does, one, it makes you enjoy the game way more. But this is a principle that you want to apply to every area of your life, right? particularly when you're starting new thing, new job, new study, new anything. What am I doing well? Right. Very critical. It's not just some feel good hokey pokey. Right? I just don't want to go and bore you guys with the science of all this. So, um, in this game, Skarms, these are one, two, three, four. Iron Moth and, and Gold Angle are the only things that are putting that boy to bed. Um, in which case, Gliscor can help me with both of those. Um, you know, roar, Raging. Roar, this thing right here is a little tricky, so I want to be mindful of a potential terror ground. I'm very weak to a lot of things I'm noticing. Um, Glide score is almost a 6 0. Um, if he mindlessly samurais, Glide score is almost a 6 0. So, uh, hmm. Samurai is a, a pesky lead, though. Garganical's core purpose is to help check that Iron Moth a little bit. Um, Terra Fairy is okay, but not the greatest in this matchup. Um, Raging Bolt um, doesn't pick up any major KOs, but the Terra Fairy might be useful. Dragapult's really problematic once the uh, the this dies, and I can keep it at full to deal with the Iron Moth in case I need to hit it through the sub. Um, keep sloking at the utmost. So Raging Bolt. Even if you were to lander, that's whatever to me. But what's most important right now is to Dragon Bolt, Dragon Pulse twice. I lost my HP stab, stat. I lost my HP boost. So it's a little more annoying, but this team has um, 
I lost my uh oh okay. So ceaseless edge won't even knock me out. So we get to KO the the uh the samurai in exchange for just a spike. Everything on my team is boost except guard, so that doesn't matter at all. Um I don't think Orlando gets knockoff anymore, so this would be an excellent opportunity to position so I lost he lost one thing that can beat my glide score. And so he could go, okay, well I'm just gonna earthquake um I could keep the sack here and whatnot. Uh, I haven't seen a lot knockoff Lando. If knockoff Lando got knocked, you'd have I'd have seen it by now. Um, so we're gonna play this patiently. I'm gonna go to Glyscore here. These stealth rocks. And I get to Swords and see. I'm get. I'm gonna see what his salute. Oh, okay, taunt. I think that's the thing. Lando got this gen. I don't think Lando always had taunt. Okay then. So he got the taunt off, which means I should. If I knew, I sh okay. So I need to be mindful of taunt. That's a common enough thing to where it's something I should be mindful of. Um. <clears throat> so this is another situation like the last one where, uh, the Skarmory, uh. The scar. I probably could have earthquake there. To be to, to be told, this was actually a, the knockoff was actually a, a poor play. Earthquake was objectively better there. Um, because the issue is now the roaring moon. My scarm is kind of there for the gambit as well. So if I were to go to scarm, uh, actually, no. But I don't want to. Uh, I don't want my scarm to be terrored. So, um, this was a, a poor decision. Just all around, uh, which is probably gonna force my Skarm to terrestrial. Oh, he knocks immediately. That's actually amazing because that covers for um, can iron defense directly here, which covers for everything, and it deals with the switch. And I get to keep my item. Yeah, and so now he's gonna go to his gold angle. So I force the roaring moon out, which means he'll always lose to Skarmory, and I get to keep my typing. So he goes Moth, which is a little surprising. He hasn't terrored yet, is he? That's something I want to be mindful of. Um, you're just sloking hard. Uh, he, he gets the boost. Unfortunate. Um, he gets two boosts. It's unfortunate. And uh, gonna sack Raging Bolt here to cover for a potential Terra. Fiery Dance, and so now he has to decide whether or not he's going to take that future site. Let's say he Terra Grounds here. The score... I terrestrialize my Gly score, or I could go Garganical. Terra Ground... He has to Terra next turn or substitute. Uh, I think Pult will die to Terra Blast at the range I'm at. But Gliscor, um So if he were to attack this turn he would go for a fiery dance which wouldn't KO my glide score um but he has to terrestrialize it wouldn't make sense for him to go for the thing is i don't want him to terrestrialize and fiery dance i have to get this turn right but this is assuming he's Terra. Um, so he gets another boost. Oh, he subs. That's the worst possible play. Me not terroring and him subbing is perfect. Yeah. So I get best of both worlds. I guess he thought I would protect. I think he bet too much on the protect turn. And because he bet so much on that, it puts him in a very poor position. As he goes Lando, I'll get to knock his item off. Soft sand, okay. 
This might not have Earthquake, which is why he's playing it that way. I no longer need to be. I can knock here this time. The Roaring Moon doesn't matter. I don't want the Golden Go on a Balloon. The Golden Go is annoying, to be fair. To be fair. Let me check to see if I'm faster. Okay, that's big. X. He crits me. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay. So, if you crit, there's... Golden Go actually is objectively problematic for me. Crits me with the fucking X. Uh, which means that you need a nasty ply here. That's a really big crit, because he'd have to recover this turn. Now I'm in a position where I have to protect. Uh, Skarm wins once this Golden Go dies, though. So let's say he nasty flies or he nasty flies recovers our hexes here. Mm. The, 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 uh, all right, slow king is my best play here. It covers for everything. Uh, I get to future side here. He's thunder wave nasty fly. Future side actually does matter a bit, even though it's like, yeah, what's the point of the future side? He's, he's either nasty plot or he's um get it off. Uh, he's either nasty plot or he's make it rain. Uh, I'll go garg. Um, garg is mid in this game. If I get him to make it rain, then um he's significantly weakened. Uh. I'll go slow king here. It is make it rain. So he doesn't have nasty plot. This is useful to note. Okay. He just hexes here and then. Means my guy scores. Um, I'm in. I can protect. Even if he were to go to Landers, Lando has to taunt. He probably switches the Golden Go out. And I actually would prefer if he didn't. I want it gone. But the... Uh, it's it's still far from over. The Golden Go is a big enough problem. But him, him critting me with the... Him critting me with the... Okay, perfect. Him critting me with the... Um, with the... Uh, I live uh, barely die him critting me with the um, he probably didn't expect me to be uh... oh he's terra fairy shit he barely lives fuck I forgot he never terrestrialized oh no that was a big risk because I could have been could have knocked him out there I forgot he didn't terra him not tearing isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's a pretty big problem for me. The Golden Go surviving just now. Um, I would have won the game, I think. Okay, very well. Pretty sure I lose now then. It's a Terra Fairy Golden Go. Oh, so that's why I needed to keep Slow King. The Slow King could have Terra Watered as well. I That was a good play. That was a good learning lesson in this case because... One, he risked the game. If the Hex KO'd him, then um, he would have terrored and just guaranteed loss to Iron Defense Skarm. But what I could have done instead, even with the crit on Gliscor, what I could have done instead... Uh, the, how would I heal Gliscor? I don't know. I don't think... I think once uh, Score got crit, it was going to be rough. And I wasn't planning for Hex, Rocky Helmet, Gold Angle, so that's a thing that I need to be mindful of in the future. Because I played this game pretty much to a T. Uh, there's nothing about this I regret. Mm. Other than the, the Slow King sack. Yeah. So it goes Lando, which is fine. Not fine, but you get the idea. So 
the fact that I can't status this Goldengo means I'm cooked because the Goldengo is just going to um, just EQ here. It doesn't even matter what he does. Uh, I Terra Fairy? I think at this point I need to Terra. Saw a cure here on the off chance that he doesn't taunt and goes hard gold and go. That would be best case. But he probably taunts on the recover. Yeah, he probably expected me to um He expected me to recover here makes the most sense. Recover on his end. I really want to recover myself. But he also has very little reason not to just go for make it rain. Uh Looking, looking, looking tough for your boy. So now he goes for Thunder Wave. He's a bitch. Oh, he switches the Lando out. That's amazing. That's actually really great for us. Taunts. It's not great, but you know, that's what are you gonna do? If he's still on it, he should go back to Golden Go. And he has to go for uh He gets to go for recover. And there's nothing I your boy can do about it, so yeah, um Six make it rains. Yeah, the key moment was uh not tearing my Dragapult. But I, I that was on me because I forgot he didn't Terra. I wouldn't have Terra Dragapult there to be fair. Um, I think Garb's Terra Fairy could have been more useful, or particularly Skarm's Terra Fighting. So I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think, uh, what I can do is protect stall his Make It Rains. This is where Scar, uh, Corviknight is, is the superior being. This makes it rain here. Yeah, he has no reason to predict. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much more time with this. Uh, the only alternative is the CP gets crit by this hex. Yeah, shit does nothing. Yeah. So, mm -mm. so we look over this. What did I learn? Samurai actually runs knock and ceaseless edge. Something I wasn't conscious of. That's useful to note. This team just struggles with, as I'm paying it, it doesn't have any immediate power. So it really struggles with combine users and like really defensive special attackers. Particularly because most special attackers can touch slowking in some capacity. The fact that I'm like, man, I, I don't know how to solve this problem. Like even with our best, even honestly with that gold angle being what it is, but I should have kept my slowking or terror water that instead. Um, I completely blanked on the Terra on both ends. So I have to be mindful of when they're that set. They might be Terra. Um, might be Terra Fairy. <laughs> Samurai. Ceaseless Edge knockoff. Ceaseless Edge does about 43%. So I don't get too KO'd by Ceaseless Edge because knockoff is stronger. Um, Ceaseless Edge does about 41 to Raging Bolt, so I'll always win that exchange if I have to have it in the future. The Lando, I made the best player. Um, the Gliscor matchup was ideal. I didn't account for Taunt, and that was a big deal because had I, I thought I won the game right here. And I didn't, I didn't need to knock here. What was the Lando going to do? Um, so Earthquake was always objectively best there. It covers for everything. Though, you know, it could have been Balloon Dango or something like that, but... Um, it, it gave the the Roaring Moon an opportunity to Dragon Dance, which was a big issue. Plus one normally takes 44 once the boosts are gone. Um, thinking what would I modify on this team? Because it's, it's incredibly passive. 
incredibly passive. And I'm feeling the pain of the immediate power, immediate, the lack of immediate damage. And I don't even have a setup sweeper beyond um, a slow score and slow Raikou. I could swap out the Pult set for Sphex to give me some immediate bloodbath. I don't have a hazard control on this team. So we could modify it around and not have it be so spike centric. Switch the Pult out for Specs and switch the Skarm out for maybe Corvi. You know what's underrated? Bulk of Corviknight. Like Bulk of Corviknight is probably like an absolute menace in the tier right now. What would it be? Bulk of what? Terra? Like Bulk of Terra fucking... I don't even know. I'd have to think about the terror. It used to run normal. The golden would have to make it rain. Or it was uh, water. Uh, I'll play a few more games with it. And, and, and if it's a continual problem. Because uh, I'm feeling like I'm always on the defensive. And I can see this being a pattern. That's the new way this team is structured. Uh, with a team like this, it's almost impossible to win a game in less than in, in less than like twenty turns, twenty five turns. Uh, but yeah. So I really like how I played around the Iron Moth. You happen to get all the boosts, which is a pretty big issue. Um, and honestly, my opponent could have given me a lot more trouble had he made some different decisions. Um, and there were a couple of turns where, like for example, the score turn here at EQ, which I don't think he accounted for me attacking him directly. I think he accounted for protect, but you have to account for every option, you know? So me getting taunted again here, I removed the, the item, which is negligible. And this is where things go south, um, so a double knock. So here, perhaps the play was to switch here. What was I gonna switch to though? Well, if he's Rocky Helmet, I'll keep that in mind. If they're Rocky Helmet, they, they might not be Nasty Plot. I didn't expect him to have Hex either. The Hex in particular had a good matchup and he crit. If he didn't crit, I'd be able to EQ this turn and I'd get my, um, I'd be above uh, range of being KO'd after the, the so this crit really honestly changed the game but just you know in general you know, the things I probably could have done to to mitigate this this crit lost me the game for sure I think I still won the game if I didn't crit here if he didn't crit because I yeah, I take about if I crit did 77 I'd take about 50 something ish and then I'd be outside of that range from the toxic orb and then the protect war off so I could protect that turn if I needed to, um, just in order to survive again, and then I could just Swords Dance. If he ever Terra Fairy this, then Sloking Infinite Walls. So I'm not concerned about that, because all I needed was the Sloking Skarm combo, and then Dragapult late game, because Skarm shuts down the, quite frankly, most of his team, and Dragapult beats the remainder. So, yeah, good lesson there. Uh, I learned that Rocky Helmet Golden Go. I, could, I need to remember about these terrors and that Thunder Wave is a thing. Um, honestly, I think there is a case for Terra Water Guard being better on this particular team. Uh, just because it's so Dango weak, but I'll keep it for now and see what happens. Uh, there are two Terra Water defensive mines, so I can see that being like, alright, let's keep it. But beyond that, I mean, everything was fairly straightforward the moment the crit happened. I was like, yeah, this might be over. Um, the Terra Fairy turn is something that I need to be mindful of in the future. So that was good data. Shit, guys, I actually paused the thing to go turn down my rice. And I've been narrating this whole time. But actually, so this is this will be useful to replay review real quick. 
So we went, we came back in the same situation where Goldengo matchup can't kill the Goldengo, same T wave hex set, and Iron Moth Terra Grown, we can't do shit to. So if we look at this right here, so for the most part, the game was completely in cruise control. I don't remember if I paused it in the middle of this game or if I paused it as we were reviewing the last, but. Either way, you can see through this here. So in nasty plots, um, Earth powers, and uh, I sludge bomb knock him out. I've never seen Earth power life for it, but it makes sense. You know how uh, you know, slow king resistant his team might be. Well, no, he, has he actually is incredibly non-slow king resistant. I wasn't sure if this was physical or not. The moon blast ended up to a KO me. I feared a potential uh, Encore SD variant, so I just needed some damage uh, so that we could come in later on and uh, Thunderclap pressure, because if he has Assault Cure, then I can just Thunderclap over and over. If he was um, Calm Mind, then the Assault Cure would also serve a pretty solid purpose. Uh, so we end up going score here to prevent the knockoff. And, uh, you know, we know that we're not going to... So he reveals not Encore there, so... Um, but because protect pale we were able to protect again and then he goes dark cry this dark cry ended up having ice beam so i didn't see that coming this was a pretty big issue because it being ice beam allowed it to ko two of my mods and so i was thinking okay well i set up the position i needed for dragapult this should have scarfed and so it ko's my dragapult and i used dragapult up so that was useful data but now we're in a very similar position to last time so we end up just playing it literally almost a mirror match to the last situation. But the key was that while doing everything we could, the end game, because the Dark Rider ended up having Trick, which is why that ended up playing out like that. But in the end, the, the Iron Moth, if it's Terra Ground Moth, it can almost sweep me. Like, Gliscor is just not bulky enough, and I'm not a toxic variant. Raging Bolt dies, Dragapult has to be at absolute full, and it had, I have to hope it doesn't get a boost. Slow King has to be at absolute full and Terrad. Like, so it's, and I have to make sure that I find out it's Terra Ground first, so. If I don't know, if it hasn't Terrad yet, and I leave Slow King and then it gets a boost on the Slow King switch, I have to Terra in case he's Terra. Which is just not an optimal strategy. For things that are just super common i i like golden go just ravages me so um that team lost us about 100 points but you know it was worth the shot i don't think it's a team i like enough to where i'd modify the team because uh, it's very it feels very similar to my last one but just like kind of less cool version so uh we're gonna do I'm going to use something a little more fun. It's kind of blows because I used up a lot of points when we were supposed to be getting into a better place as far as um, better battles, but the, the teams we've been getting have been... Uh, what do I want to use? Let's use this. It's a little more fun. And we can potentially modify this as we go. So we get a 1918 player, which is perfect because I'm desperate for some points right now. And so we're going to see what bro has in store for us. Gapdos is great for uh, Gambit, Lando, um, Samurott, Garchomp as well, funnily enough. I don't know if the Deoxys is like some kind of um, booster, but Dragonite's lethal. Dragonite's absolutely lethal. Um, knockoff oh i'm not feeling this needs to be ice spinner probably like a really old team ice spinner so i can't match up versus that garchomp then okay organicals terra fairy iron defense eats i just need to remove that iron moth iron moth um combine primarina so i'm the same primarina i don't know why i thought i saw av so what what is in store for me? I'm gonna try to Dragonite sweep this guy. You know, Dragonite's quite good. He Dragonite tucked. Organical Iron Defense can six L him as well. Um, 
the Deoxys could be a problem. And since I don't have Ice Spinner, that could be an issue. Calm Mind Primarina is a problem. I actually like Primarina in this matchup a lot. I like it a lot. I happen to be Surf Draining. Oh, this is the same fucking set from last time. So, this could be like some, some Life Orb variant. Okay. I'm really always, oh, it is Life Orb. This is great because I get the Draining Kiss here as he goes to Moth. But Moth should not be able to knock me out. I do not think. Mm, I could Terra Water and kill this. Terra Ghost and kill this, but I want my Terra um, normal. I want to say I survive. Let me run this calc. Because this is a pretty splendid turn. For Marina. Should have imported the team. For Marina. Oh, you offensive calm mind. I think. I think I have 363 HP. So it's like. I guess. 248. Yeah. Mm, plus one iron moth booster energy sludge wave might KO me he needs a really high roll to kill me my alternative is to go to garganical but if I go gargan he's terror ground I'm in a little bit of a bind uh this roll. Oh my ass, he's gonna get max roll. I'm really at 55. Let's not risk the roll, let's slow play this. I risk the roll. I really wish I had Ice Spinner right now, but it is what it is. Confirming is the Oxys is really important too because. This Garganical can absolutely thrash his team, especially if it's, uh, let me see. Yeah, let's just focus on um, ensuring the success of our attacks by holding, only holding positions that cannot be defended. I'm gonna break bird directly here. Um, does not KO. It's a U-turn. It's a U-turn. Means I'm staring down Deoxys. It's a little annoying, but I have my Iron Treads. I think. Nah, no, that's for sure faster than. So I, it's a little, it's a little aggressive to go, um, to go Lando directly. I mean to, not to go Lando directly. To um, uh, Psycho Boost. The Moth play wasn't a bad play. Uh, actually. You know, my my draining kiss play was actually not good. When I think about it, he's he's minus two and I am plus one. So of course he's gonna switch out. The samurai must be choice scarf, or he's just saying fuck it. I gotta sack it. Uh those is solid um He's not ceaseless edging. Okay, raise your shell. So he's giving that up. That's why I found this sequence so odd because he could Terra. I've seen people Terra in this position. I've fallen for that before. So I'm actually just gonna go for knockoff. Rapid spin would get me so much value. So, so, so much value. But these run Terra Ghost and I'm not gonna fall for that again. It's a pretty big turn if I let him Terra Ghost, yeah. So he loses a lot of value because he let me Terra. He he gives me his Terra and um, I can still Rapid Spin. So it's a question of whether or not I value Rapid Spin. I don't know why he went Landers. That's awful. Because you give me rocks and you get rid of Like you just gave me two for one special. And offensively, Treads is actually quite lethal. And so I, I get to get up rocks here. I'm guessing this is Scale Shot. Do I care about rocks? Moth dies to E-Speed. Yeah, this Garchomp is a non-factor.
Because if you SD is here, you scale shots. But scale shots a waste of a time. Waste of time. So I stealth rock here um, for the moth KO as he EQs. But the question is, what do I want to use now? Right, we have <clears throat> his gambit could be a problem if it's the right set. Um, but moth is really potentially problematic. So. Hood Rim Arena Rim doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, nothing solves the problem without me terrestrializing. And I wanna be my the gambit already teared, but it could be air balloon. I've seen too many air balloon gambits. Alternatively I could So Iron Moss, which is great. <clears throat> so he pivots back to Chomp. Him taking the damage on Iron Moth actually seals this he seals his fate now. So now I can just Terra Fairy Iron Defense. I don't have to be concerned about Terra anymore. Yeah. And now I just body press. Yeah, I body press directly. Because I um, should switch out here. But wow, Moth is taking too much damage. Doesn't work. Um, switch allows for me to... What do I want to go to? Dragonite. So for the Gambit matchup. Since I Terrad, he needed to force my Garganical out though. But this was objectively his best play. Um, my Prim could potentially outspeed Garg. If I go Dragonite on his Moth... Because Moth doesn't kill Garg. I don't think I'm going to keep my Dragonite's multi scale. Made a good play. Doesn't knock me out. Now uh, I can knock out Moth. <clears throat> and the, uh, the Deoxys, because of the life for them. This, this extreme speed is really important. I need to position myself to where Gambit doesn't set up. Because it might not be Balloon Gambit, but I have to play the game as if he is, and he's not, which is great. So I get to EQ here directly. Um, I don't even think he can kill me. Oh, he does KO. That's fine. What's my objective best play here? I think it's a Thunderbolt, honestly. Okay. I didn't expect Chomp. I wouldn't have sacked Chomp. So now he guaranteed loses because he sacked Chomp. Um, so now I just need to sack Primarina. If he doubles back to Gambit, which he should, I'll just Iron Defense Garg, which he doesn't want. I just surf here. No, actually, I calm mine here. No, I drain kiss. And I get the free switch into guard to iron defense. Yeah, so Gambit has to come in and pray. Yeah, the prayer didn't work. So we got a good chunk of our points back. We have Ice Spinner here. I wonder if Terra Steel Dose is even like the best set. And this is, uh, that's what's different. I'm like, something is different about this. This was, um, Psychic Voice. That's like, something is different about this set from our last one. <clears throat> the difference with these kinds of, this, the team I'm using now is that it has sp a speed setup sweeper in the case, in the, uh, in the case of Dragonite and Galarian Zapdos is actually quite annoying. Now, looking at this team is probably Kirim Fodder. 
And it might be better to run AV Prim on this. But, um, we'll see. We shall see. Or run sub on those, I don't know. This team's fun. I like fun teams. Ah, oh, I forgot we're doing the reviews and shit. <laughs> okay, my B, guys. Uh, what did we learn from last game? Uh, Demerat runs Terragos. We confirmed that. Uh, the Oxus on those kind of teams where you see Samurai probably life for, which makes sense. Um, like on a team like this, is probably not life for. Though Tinkaton, what the hell is the Tinkaton? It's just a weird ass team, truth be told. I don't know what the fuck this dude's doing. I'll find out. So let's break this down. Galarian Zapdos upon bulking up beats. One, two, three, three, four. These two are pests. Raging Bolts. What's his Raging Bolt switch? Tinkaton. Tinkaton can't touch Raging Bolt. He loses to let Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is the Tinkaton defeater. Uh, Primaria Calm Mining is really, really good. Especially if I get rid of this Tinkaton. Very good. Iron Defense Garg is mid. I think regular, not, not I mean, Terra Fairy Iron Defense. Actually, regular Iron Defense is solid. Uh, DD Dragonite in the late game can be lethal. Iron Treads has its place, but none crazy. Particularly because uh, Great Tusk. So, what can't he guard against here? Who would I want to sleep with? He guards very poorly against Flying Moves. Tinkaton is his best bet. He guards very poorly against Electric Moves. Raging Bolt matchup. What do I guard poorly against? Uh. Actually, funnily enough, Loki Great Tusk. <laughs> Loki Great Tusk right now. Like, that boy Great Tusk is a problem. They leads the Oxus, which I didn't expect, but I let uh, Zapdos because uh, this gives me the opportunity to mid ground trades. I get to find out if he's if he's offensive, and he is. And that did a lot to me. Um, Belt Rock here. He gets the Tusk. Just annoying. Particularly because it just completely invalidates everything I just did. But the upside is that um, this allows my Zapdos to get the matchup. He actually Ice Sprinters is hard. That's great. That's great for us. That's actually phenomenal. Oh, he just gives me the Tusk. So, <clears> T <throat> Bolt's even better, and my Treads is amazing right now. And my Dragapult, my Dragonite is amazing. Um, the, the little pot thing is a problem, potentially. Little pot thing is a problem potentially for sure. Uh, hmm. As I said, those offensively was problematic, but it had to bulk up. Tusks just too bulky. Hey. Uh, I don't want to tear it quite yet. I also don't want Prim taking any damage. Prim is really good. Hmm. I'm in a I'm in a very awkward position actually. If he were to uh, go to Sinistra, right, which is what I was trying to avoid, um, it puts me in an awkward bind because now I guess he'd matcha gotcha. I assume uh, rocks matter, but fuck. I want to set up my raging bolt for success, but the way it's set up now, probable. I'll slow down and think this one through. Calm minds. Okay, that makes sense. Calm mind spamming. Red card. And he missed the matcha gotcha. That's a big miss. He'd strength sap here. Maybe I should have counted for CM a bit more. Red card, huh? I think so. My Raging Bull is actually quite fast, so maybe I can um, catch up. Uh, Dragon Pulse is probably to the chaos. This. Uh, probably Encore or something like that. 
He's back to full, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. What is this dude? Can this play rough here? Yeah, that's fucking encore. Oh yeah, there's rocks too. I'll double dragon pulse. Big gets on hammer. It has rocks. Okay, whatever. He has play he had play rough, okay. I spin it here every time. Sinister took decent damage from that. There. Uh, still have terror in hand. I can bluff. This thing is I think, naturally faster than Prim. Oh man, gotcha, gotcha. That works. Draining kiss here. Tinkerton likely comes in, but uh, worse come to worse, he encores me. Gigaton hammer. Because uh, the Tinkerton is one of the key things for his. Plero, there's no way Plero's killing me. Tinkerton is one of his main things for. Uh, Voice, liquid voice, psychic voice doesn't care. Oh wow, that killed me. Shit. This fucking heat proof shit is at full. Mm. Okay, all I gotta do is do that to get the little bit of leftovers I need, and then I, I fucking dragon pulse this shit. Tusk KO, which makes sense. I'm really glad I got the tusk there. I needed that. This is heavy duty boots. What the hell? It has psychic boost. Psychic, psychic, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Psycho boost. So maybe nasty plot. My Terra. Arc is not gonna win this. Boys cooked. Psycho boost. I was trying to say there. Team is walled by that little thing. Uh, well, not walls per se. Could have played around the Tinker Time better. To be fair. Let's say he's Psycho Boost here. How can one win this? A Raging Bolt can maybe pull this off. Don't want to take my damage. He has Ice Beam. Okay. Uh, oh, this Deoxys is some weirdo shit. Okay, that's great. After recovery, he knows that Sinister makes sense. Uh, Calm Minds. Battle Ball makes sense. But Strength Sap is more likely. Uh, I was gonna say we protect here. Um. Because if he's not careful, my Dragonite will Dragon Dance. So. He does Strength Sap. But that's kind of okay. That's kind of okay. That's kind of okay. Not really, but kind of. Tinkerton. Playros. Good Giga Ten Hammer, but Encore is actually, I'm surprised. Okay. So we double Salt Cure. Man. It gives up the Tinker Ton. It's gonna allow me to Salt. So, oh yeah, so it's going to Moth. It's gonna give me the opening I need. It must be Terra Ground. Yeah. Substitute Terra Ground. Uh, and don't break the sub, which is huge. It's this game over for your boy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This was a good loss to take, though. Um, I crit this, I win. I 
could go Raging Bull and uh, he sacks the axis. We just crit for, go for the crit. Uh, so close. Oh, he matcha got you. Might have just thrown. Hey, if I fucking DD'd, he lost. What the hell was that? How would he do that? I, maybe I should have went for the luck. Meant for the choke. He might lose here. Depending on how much E speed does, not enough. Because Raging Bolt, Thunderclap can't kill him from here. But he actually almost threw. I can fish for a crit. Not enough. Even a crit wouldn't have been enough. Mm, could have played that better though. So I don't mind that. What do we learn? Matcha Gacha thing runs calm mind. I let him calm mind the Matcha Gacha thing up. And that was big. Uh, I'm actually kind of objectively Tusk weak, which is crazy in a, in a fucking Tusk meta. Like, I actually cannot switch into Great Tusk. Um, uh, I remember modifying this team. And Raging Bolt was the thing that came off. I don't remember what I put on there instead. I think maybe pulled. Will be better here. I like Pult a lot. Need some immediate power in this bitch. Maybe Pult and then uh I'll we'll take off Raging Bull for Dragapult. Dragapult's my guy. We don't go nowhere without my Dragapult. But right now we're just um as I said chilling. We lost quite a bit of points with the first team. Um but we might be able to cook up another team here as we ladder and learn. Might be able to cook up another fun team. Uh, this literally has the same fucking Marina thing. Maybe we don't use Marina. We use something different. Uh, more offensive, I suppose. Maybe Wellspring. Make this team fairly physical. We'll try Pult and see what that looks like. Can't go wrong with a Dragapult on your team, so I always say. This went from a training session to me just fucking around. Now. So let me let me go back to what we were here to do. We have all right. That's pretty sound. We'll find out what the ideal tear on the Pult is. I mean, on the Zapdos is. This team doesn't have any defensive backbone. So I have to be mindful. Um, but yeah. I've never seen Dragonair's Dragonite be so bad and so good. Stream speed is very critical. But it's like... It has absolutely no setup fodder. True tragedy. But Garganical here, boy. Garganical. Iron Defense win. 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 So I need him to mindless Deoxys. That would be splendid. That would be wonderful. Uh, Scizor is good if he's competent. Actually, this is a very poor play on my end. Um, Trez was never to play here. The play here was um, was my Dragapult. Uh, this, this is actually... What was I thinking? No matter what, Dragapult was the best play. Even if it had a Deoxys or Glim Lead. This, is, this was... Slow down, Jam. Alright. Slow down. I put myself in a really poor position when I could have been in a position of power on lead. To where if I go pull and he goes for knockoff, and this is like some kind of life or variant, I'm cooked. And the fact that I'm taking so long strikes me as the type of guy who just predicts. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um I'm gonna go with mid ground those covers for knock and close combat. That boy is bonded. And what this does is it allows for me to catch his Gamora now. I am gonna get poisoned, but I can rapid spin decently easily. As uh we thunderous kick here. Oh Dio speed comes in. I did not expect Dio speed. Probably um nasty plots here. Very well then. Did not expect Dio speed, considering Brave Bird cooks. Maybe, maybe it's something else. I'm gonna go shreds and see what he does. 
as the class. I don't think he can KO me. But it's fairly predictable, which is useful. Um, Red's is too important. Let's say he does have Nasty Plant. I mean, he does have Focus Blast. I'd give up my Prim to the Focus. So your play was the Nasty Plant and Cycle Boost. Okay, Iron Dreads. Uh, maybe I KO'd. Maybe I'm the fool here. Maybe I KO'd. Yes, Focus Blast. I might have KO'd me. Dragonite, does Dragonite need to have its speed? Meaning it has its, its focus blast, like, I don't feel any way about that particular miss. I was debating whether or not Dragonite, um, I need the deal speed gone for my Garganical. My Garganical washes this team. Uh, so if he has Ice Beam, we either Ice Beam or Recycle Boost directly here. Um, let me run the calc on this. Dragonite. I gotta be mindful of like some Encore Ogre Pond or some shit like that. Deoxys. No, that'll do 50. Unless I have Terra Extreme Seeds, 44 to 52. Alas, let's see if he has ice beam. So I, I lowered the psycho boost out. So psycho boost would have KO'd me. So my opponent made the objective correct play. Right decision is Dragonite back mid ground. Yep. Now Dragonite here could cook this guy. His goose could be cooked. I doubt it. Here I just earthquake to cover for a glim or a scissor. And psycho boosting is it's completely irrelevant. Um, so actually, roaring moons, roaring moons are odd decision. Hmm. Ah, do I know Garg's Terra Fairy is too damn important? I refuse to terrestrialize. Uh, EQ. So let's find out how much roaring moon takes. I thought that takes forty two percent. That roaring moon play was quite odd. It must be uh, there goes roaring moon. Roaring Moon Dragon Dance. Extreme Speed does 37 to 40. No match. So we'd be looking at knockoff and two dose of gap. Uh, yeah. And then uh, acrobatics here. Hmm. Need this. Okay. So now I can go to Dragapult and drop a hot one, as they used to say back in the day. If he stays in, he's gonna go for knockoff. Okay, so it gives me roaring. Dragapult's a huge problem as well. for the iron boulder to be fair. I'll go hard guard and iron defense. I think this runs fighting moves. Even if you were to go for that one um prop move. Yes. Iron defense. I think that covers the remainder of his team. I body press you every time. Covers for a deoxys switch. If deoxys goes he's good. Yeah. It must be it might be sludge wave Blumora, but I'm obviously not gonna risk that. Um, going to now my Dragapult is in a position of power. We just EQ directly. Ogre Pond is possible, but Ogre Pond is no longer a spring of wellness, um, so I'm no longer concerned about it. And with the damage I just got, I can just Shadow Ball KO it. So, hmm, Shadow Ball wins to an extent. Does have sludge wave on the glim? Um, oh, Dragonite! Dragonite's actually trash here. And it's no longer necessary. Gets a crit there, which is okay. Mm -hmm. 
he does have player off, which is what I was trying to avoid. I don't want to risk a player off situation. The scissor is banded. Could be Terra Steel Scissor. The already terrestrialized. So it's still far from over. So far from over. Because Dragon Pult, Dragon Pult could potentially go down to like Terra Steel or something like that. Uh, if it is, if he goes Scissor, I'll run the calc on that. Because all that would need to happen in the scissor matchup would be Treads would need to live and add a rapid spin. So it goes Gomorrah, which is amazing. That's my best case scenario. Um, I was debating whether I'd go Treads here. I were to go Treads. Thinking about the situations. If I were to go treads here and he goes, through, but he wouldn't even sludge bomb. I don't know what he'd go for. I get a crit there. Red card. Uh, it's actually kind of good. Uh, it would just depend on what the fucking scissor is. Could you turn and KO this? Red card, damn. If I go... If I go Pult and I Flamethrower, he gets to go to Iron Boulder. But I guess I have to run the Calcom with Scissor takes. Dragapult. Dragapult. All you choice specs. Scissor, all you choice band. I think the best place to not have the scissor coming for free. So it goes bold. I think he doubles to scissor here, but he might sword dance, and I can't have that as a possibility. If the scissor was banded, all the things, whatnot, I think I can win. It just depends on if um, bullet point should have KO'd. But I think objectively this is the best play, even if he were to source this, because he doesn't have the speed boost. So if he were to try to attack Garg and take a ton of damage, I could potentially just flame through so That's if the scissor is even Terra Steel. But I'm thinking Terra Steel would be the, the core way I'd lose. Alternatively, if I had um, not flamethrowered, yeah, he doubles the scissor. And so the thing with the scissor play is that if you're Terra Steel, I think I survive, and then I get to Salt Cure and Shadow Ball Sweep. Yeah, I survive. I It's going to depend on if Dragapult lives. I think that's what it comes down to. So I'm, I'm really proud of myself for considering Terra Steel. Dragapult does eat, right? And that's what I figured. I head calc but you never know. So, Shadow Ball. So that's why I went and made the, 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 the Flamethrower and the Garg play. Because in my worst case scenario, him Flamethrowering, me, him being Terra Steel is my worst case scenario. And so, if I Shadow Ball and he Terra Steel versus my Dragapult, I would have lost. Because I'd have been in the range of the Iron Boulder. And I wouldn't get an opportunity to go for uh, Iron Defense because the Bullet Punch does so much. So what do we learn there? Iron uh, Life Orb Deoxys is a thing. Um, Iron Boulder runs Swords and it's Terrace. Man, I'm so yeah. And, you know, you don't understand, man. That was uh, there's so many possibilities in this thing called Mons. You know what I'm saying? And so for me to expect the correct Terra. It's quite, quite the deal, quite the deal. This Umbreon's a fucking pain. But if I get my Primarina in on it, get this young combine going, it is over. So that game we made up, we, we made it so much harder for ourselves by just leading poorly. 
So let's slow the fuck down. Leave properly. Like, Gyropole eats this guy. Mm -hmm. Delicioso, you know? Uh, uh, Iron Shred's core purpose keep that glim at bay. Especially with this hazard control that he has going on. Dragonite can sweep very easily late game. Um, I also need to keep it tucked. My Garganical can sweep him as well. Just regular iron defense. If I can get rid of his Goldengo. Which I might be able to by just boosting my Primarina up. Uh, Dragapult's offensively a menace. Gapdos, I can't have him um, getting up Toxic Spikes. So... Is this the only fucking choice Scarf Garchomp in the game? I'm willing to risk it. Because I want the Umbreon matchup. Excellent. I want this matchup right here. Because it's just a win-win situation. He either stays in and goes for fucking Toxic or some bullshit. Yep. So this is a big turn because here, if I were the opponent, I'd probably Glamora directly. If I have Sludge Wave, or I'd, I'd go Dingo directly, Dragonite directly. Okay. Dragonite directly. I'm really glad I went for um, Online there. So, in a case like this, it's wisest to see him. Tw well, it's wise to Drain and Kiss the first turn. Um, we Drain and Kiss again here. Sure. You know he's gonna hurt but i'm at full and so i might get a two for one special here uh, so goldengo comes in i'm glad to see goldengo uh if he's choice specs if you need to remember garganical eats his lunch if this goldengo is gone uh primarina is really now this could be trick or it could just be like i'm gonna nasty plot his trick the problem with trick is that he has no water resist ah uh, but it does mean Umbreon um, gets the the opportunity to do weird stuff. The Thunder Waves. The problem is that... Actually, maybe I shouldn't have let the Umbreon fucking do what it just did. But it has to heal, so... What I'll do is... Um, I'll Rocks on the heal. Mm. Yeah. This is that's a big turn. So now it's trick. The golden guy has leftovers, which is a pain. But now I got enough data. So he's gonna wish here. If my Galarian Zapdos sweeps. You can wish. Um, I'll, uh, basically, I'll, uh, you know, that one move. Mm. Yeah, I don't regret my, I don't regret my, um, I don't regret my, um, I don't regret my, uh, what's it called, play? Because I don't bring it to come in on rocks and EQ repeatedly. I don't regret the, it actually just gives a good more, uh, by that. Did I just wrap it spin next turn? Unless you go, um, I think I let me see what the roll on chomp is. Iron treads, uh, oh, you lead ice spinner guard chomp. Unless this is some kind of tank chomp, his sword dance chomp, he dies. I think ice spinner would do 92 to 10 or something. Ah, this is such a good mon, though. What would I do instead? Let's say he is... Defensive. That would mean I'd have to deal with T-Spikes. Who cares? No one. Yeah, okay. He was offensive. It's a big kill. Because now Moth is um, fodder for my... He has to give up his booster and his fodder for my Dragonite. And I can Rapid Spin again. So, 
a pretty, pretty dope win. Um, for Marina, coming through, proving its worth. So Umbreon runs T-Wave. I think it doesn't get toxic anymore, and I'm just like tripping, thinking this shit gets toxic. Umbreon. I'm pretty sure I play Umbreon with Toxic and Ranbats. It does get toxic. Motherfuckers are just scum with the T wave. <laughs> scum with the T wave. Bro, it's just scumming left and right. Where are the morals? Back in my day, motherfuckers had morals on the ladder. Bro, is the art of war something you need to get in your hands immediately? Audiobook version for when you're on the move at the gym? Yeah, it's that kind of book. What's it called? Uh, physical version for the bedtime, the bed stand, you know, when you're marking down, because you're going to grab notes. That kind of book for sure. I hate playing Omari P, bro. This nigga always has some weird stuff. I. Oh, weird shit. And then he never plays it properly. You have the weird shit and then just sack everything. But we're going to have to survive. Dun dun dun, will we survive the Omari P matchup? He guards very poorly against Draco Dragapult, so that's something that's gonna happen. But it's Omari P, bro is definitely running the choice scarf, kill him. Uh, Prim takes so much value, so, so much value. Uh, Dra Garganical as well. Like Arc Terra Fairy actually six O's. But I'm not hundred percent on what. Uh something, something going. I know this can earn trick. So we'll just be patient for now. So let's drag a pole here. Bro led Cinderace versus a potential Iron Treads lead. What are we saying here, boys? This boy running a sucker punch. You see what I'm talking about? Lead Cinderace then proceeds to Pyro Ball. Can't make this shit up, boys. So, on the out chance he's the lone high jump kick Cinderace in the game. We're gonna go Dragon Ball here. If he U turn, so be it. He is the lone high jump kick Cinderace. And that's all it took. That's all it took. Bro went for that high jump kick. Didn't prevail and was all it took. Because that damage on him right there would have been Cinderace fodder. But I, bro, I told you, bro, run some weird stuff. So I survived surviving Omari P, bro. That dude just clicks, and he's been clicking for years. But you gotta, you gotta appreciate the dedication, man. But it seems a little more fun. It's been a while since I've used like speed setup sweepers. We have three setup sweepers, well, four setup sweepers. Um, I say I was gonna say two or fast. That's very subjective <laughs> with the Dragon Dance and the Bulkup. And I have a Speedster and Dragapult. Look how Dragapult's just fucking pulling his weight. How Dragapult's just pulling his weight. I love weight pullers. Weight watchers. As uh, your boy Dragonite is in this key. Dragonite. But um, I, you know, in all seriousness, I look at this game. Oh my god, man! Why are people using that shit? I need to stop. He has two dark types. Prim is probably not doing anything in this game. Actually, let me think about this. Actually, not an easy matchup. Depends on how he plays his his dark types. Um, Shadow Boss Ghost Terra Ghost Shadow Boss Bam is devastating. Prim is key. Terra Guard. If he gives up Gold Angle, I like my odds. I play the gap dose with the right level of aggression. We're in business. Mindless Samurai lead, we're in business. Oh, this guy has a brain no. It's actually interesting lead considering um the trait's potential. Um if I'm banded. I may lose a lot of value this turn, but he he got the he has the edge there. I don't regret my lead, yeah, because that's what I was thinking. If he fucking um, 
Chili Receptions. Chili Reception was a potential bad play if I was banned Brave Bird or bad knockoff. Because he'd lose his item and his value and get nothing in return. Um, but it ended up paying off and um, we're just going to have to deal with that fact, right? He raises shells, which means he's definitely attacking next turn. That's just how their brain works. Uh, it's like, oh, no, oh, definitely. He's banned, I think. This shit did 38%. This nigga is banded as hell. But I am still going to okay, reinforce the Terra. And he actually KOs me. Wow. That's impressive also. But gave up the Terra. So I'm going to pretend somehow that means something for us. <laughs> um, Perm was good. It was good for the Zenta. Doesn't mean Zenta can't. My Zapdos is really good. In fact, the key to this is terroring on his enamorous of my Zapdos, getting the special defense drop. Well, while I have several bulk ups, raybirding that shit to oblivion and winning. It's a fairly likely Sloking Galar. If he doesn't Sloking Galar, I'm in a bind. Uh, enamorous is. I didn't expect an Amorous. I'll take it. Uh, Dragonite, Dragonite, Dragonite. Amorous is... B-Time with Treads. By Dragonite. Probably lure out Zenta. Can Shadow Bomb more freely. An Amorous... Um, was actually a phenomenal decision. Yeah, I do lure him to sack the Amorous. Means my Zapdos just needs to bulk up one motherfucking time. Amorous. A loony play. No, that's a good play. Uh, this is great. I'm actually really glad that he did that. He's banded. He's banded, Sammy. Samu. Samurot! And this is the opening I needed, I think. It's, it's not exactly. Just if the sloking has, the sloking has. Um, if the sloking has, I wait. I have a couple options here. I could zap those directly, and just knock. Let me see what the Calcon this is. Zapdos. So many variables. No, Zapdos. Galar. For you. Plus one. Plus one. Slow King. E. You defend Plus one knock. Kills after rocks. We might have to set up for the long game here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go treads. Rocks. Zenta makes sense. Put a rapid spawn there. Zenta makes sense. So we're gonna set up for the long game here. Crunch makes sense as well. I'll probably hard pull here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna tear my um I think I'm gonna tear my Altera guard. Crunch makes sense here. You wanna catch Dragapult on the hard switch. I kinda don't wanna tear my guard yet, but I don't think I have a choice. My Iron Treads is actually offensively good right now. Oh fuck, this shit is physical in that way. Shoot, and he CCs. That's kind of good because it means that those, um, fuck. I didn't expect him to CC. Even if he's, if he actually being the fact that he's uh, offensive, 
I may I expected him to see the likelihood of him of him CCing to be even less, actually. Do I tear this gold angle? Arg is back in I didn't I expected slow king. Uh my play here is to I don't think you'd want the Reds versus Zentax. I don't think you want he's not he's there are a couple plays he's made that have been questionable, so I'm actually gonna just Okay, so you made the good play. Uh no defense boost Zenta. This be like iron um heavy slam or something? Iron iron slam, what is that shit called? Heel slam. Maybe iron head. I recover here. Okay. I'm gonna treads again. I said. Uh, since I'm at full, it's fairly low risk. The Zenta is heavy duty boost. I just need to time this right then. I don't get the samurai play. I do get it actually. Just gonna aqua jet, but um, if he goes for the the water move on into my guard, very high risk. But it'll be very high reward as well. I'll still make the guard play. Um, yeah, he should jet. Assault cure again, you probably like jam. Actually, no, objectively, the best play here is to drag a pole. Uh, yeah, objectively, the best play is to drag a pole. Zenta won't die and then it'll crunch me. He wants me to Draco into Zenta. He wants to use crunch. Oh, makes sense. Okay. It's fairly low risk um, sloking. Um, the issue is that if I condition him enough, condition him enough, the golden goes balloon. If I condition him enough, so I'm actually really happy to see Balloon here. Treads probably dies to... Treads uh, probably dies to... Just need to time this right with the, uh, the Zapdos. Shadow Ball makes sense. Um, he does make it rain. That's actually a really big turn right there. It's a really big turn. I spin her directly because he's gonna. Uh, he has to. And he shows Hex, so that means he's. Oh fuck! I I fucked up. I made a big misplay just now. Oh shit! I just made a huge misplay. Fuck! He's that one set. With the hex and shit, but I'm fucking. Ah, oh, I just made a huge mistake. Uh, it is what it is. I just made a huge, 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 huge misplay there. If he were to go hard gambit here, it'd be great. I made a huge misplay. I shouldn't have popped his balloon. I should have let him keep his item. So, that's probably gonna cost me the game, honestly. It's probably gonna cost me the game. Cost me a lot. He hards Gambit, which I'm surprised by. Uh, fuck. Probably could have doubled to Zapdos there. Gambit Iron Heads here. My way to win is with. Actually, kowtowed. It's great for him. No body price in case he fucking stays in. He doesn't stay in. The objective best play -o. Um So here, pulls up the best mid ground. It covers for a sludge bomb. And disincentivizes. 
turn the place. Plus, the shadow ball damage is gonna be a big, diff big deal on the uh, Zapdos. Okay. All right. I'm faster. Did he roar? This fucker has roar on a dam. Yeah, that's that lost me the game there. Ah, oh, if I had, I lost myself the game though. What can I say? Because the Goldengo would have been. Let me see if I shot a ball here. I don't shot a ball here. If there's one shot I have, it's... But the upside, I guess, is he doesn't know that my Zapdos doesn't have sub. But I mean, if I have sub, then I can't touch him, right? Unless I'm not caught. Ah, how could I have had such a, an oversight? But, hey, learning lessons here, man. As uh, He actually goes Gambit. Uh, I don't think that was necessary. If he's not careful, uh, he's going to give me a shot again. The gold angle comes in, he's gonna thunder wave. Gotta crit him here. Yeah, the balloon. The balloon would have made all the difference. The balloon would have made all the difference. And so he just recovers spams and then hexes until I get paralyzed. The balloon wouldn't have KO'd him, but he wouldn't have he wouldn't have scouted for the bulk. Or I wouldn't say he wouldn't have scouted for it, but he wouldn't have accounted for the bulk up. Um, so now I have to Hope I break through and crit one of these. If I get a crit, I'm in the game. Yeah. That's that's game. Hmm. I gotta be I gotta watch out. This is a, what the fourth time I've run into this fucking gold angle set. How did Prim die? How did Primarina think? I remember. I think I lost Prim in some unconventional way. What happened? Was my primarina. Liquid voice, calm mind that the trick game was the next, the last game. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now I might just make the Zapdos fucking Terra Electric or some shit like that. Because these annoying ass gold angles are Terra Ground. You know what? Make this shit Terra fucking Ground. Annoying ass gold angles keep trying to thunder wave my shit. And then it would be able to be immune to um, what's that thing's uh, thunder clapping. Just watch that situation almost never occur again. Oh shit, we're facing the agency member too. Let's see what he's got in store for us. Very Shadow Ball week. Um, definitely a Dragonite in game in this. Or a Garg Sweep. We could Garg early. Garg early makes a lot of difference. If I can clap his. Uh, this thing early, then we're looking good. I, I think it's just a matter of what kind of trickery. If the, if the Dark Cry is some kind of scarf set, which we've run into. Um, that would be a bitch, because honestly, Dragapult just maims his team on, on site. Um, I cannot risk this. This uh, this is such a pain, because this could be like Sash or something like that. And, and it would be perfect if I U-turn into Treads. That would be my best boss possible situation. Is it worth finding out if he's Choice Scarfed? Well, it depends on how I intend to win, no? So much value to be gained here, but I don't want to just sack my Dragapult. So let's say he is Choice Scarf, then my treads will get to it KO. So I think my my best bet in any situation. Probably be pretty.
That was the worst case if he fucking nasty plotted, but nasty plot was an awful play, by the way. If I if I U turn into treads, which was the sequence, right? But you know, it worked, so I'm not gonna say anything about that. Uh, nasty plot would have been a complete waste. He would have gotten no value the first turn. Uh, yeah, let's make do. Let's see if it has sludge bomb, terror ghost. Okay, so we get the terror at the very least. I don't because I don't know if he's um, uh, focus sashed. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. I lost so much value there. He's fucking lefties too. So I would have killed him with Draco. The hell? And now you're shot a ball fodder. Like, what, bro? What, bro? I got I didn't I don't rocks weren't the biggest deal but I just I do I guess he wouldn't have terror ghosted if I did the other uh, sequence which I'm kind of glad that the terror is already extinguished because that's going to be big for my dragonite later on the fact that you can't terrestrialize uh oh shoot bro went to that dragon knight as uh now here comes the primarine oh, let me slow down I think this here what are my scenarios here I'm glad he gave up the the um What's that thing called? The multi-scale, because we may have a late game Dragapult sweepage on our hands, especially because I have that Terror Ghost. Uh, also, if uh, the Iron Crown sacrifices itself for the greater good, my Garganic was amazing as well. So, uh, Primarina is just the best mid-ground no matter what he does. Uh, if he EQs, that's fine. This is a little annoying because of the potential um, Ogre Pond Wellspring. I can't have him just rogue staying in with this. Uh, so he goes the crown instead. Crown actually is an excellent play. I don't have my treads anymore. All right, I don't have my treads anymore. This iron crown is a problem. Uh, the question is, do I care more? Iron crown is it's probably specs and it would do a lot. Okay. I do need some damage on this. My prim is damn near at full. What else am I gonna switch into it? I could go with Dose, but I think Dose dies. I think Dose may die. Dose is good. Is it as good as Prim? Maybe that specs damage. I guess my Primarina, which is gonna Dragonite EQ. The, the next condition I need met is uh, that Great Tusk getting hit. So now, as Sun Tzu once said, we can ensure the success of our attack if we only attack positions that cannot be defended. Since this Dragonite EQ'd my Dragapult, I'm assuming it doesn't have Ice Spinner. I doubt Ice Spinner would KO, but now um, that was a very strange EQ decision. So, I'm like, well, we'll just deal. Somebody is going down right now. And anybody going down is useful for me. I just need that Valiant ship. So it gives me Dark Run, which makes sense. I'm guessing I'm staring at a Valiant here. Let's see what the Valiant is. Ogre Pond. Right by the Ogre Pond here. Uh, Yoga Prawn is a spring of wellness. Hmm. We need to stay terra normal. So let's see, if I were to Enox or Playros here, uh, knock off. I don't die to Cudgel. I kinda need the guard so I can take a hit from the Valiant. Though if I Terra Ghost my Garganic, it won't, my Jagapult, it won't matter. Um, U-turns, wise man. But in U-turning here into Great Tusk is actually exactly what the doctor ordered. Because I need this Great Tusk withered down. Um, also, I have Terra Steel potentially to Terra into the Valiant with my Gapdos and collaborate. If I Terra Fairy here. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Well, the Gapdos double has no drawback. Um, him roxing is whatever. It matters, but it's it's not the end of the world. Um, he doesn't have a Brave Bird switch in. Tempted to bulk up. Uh, is he D Knights as expected? I bulk up again. Just knock this out though. I'll take a lot more damage than I'd like. But it keeps the Ogre Pawn out. I'm at 77. If he goes uh, Valiant, I'll tear and kill it. Because that's the only thing remaining. Standing in my way of the Dragapult's onslaught. Especially because he can't Encore. And there's no way he's or Sphere Iron Valiant. There's just I just refuse. I refuse to accept that as a possibility. Bro DDoS me, are you serious? Bro, don't hit me with the DDoS. Don't hit me with the DDoS, brother. Play this fair and square. I have never disconnected a mon's battle since I've been recording. Bro said, I'm gonna hit this man with the DDoS. I actually really like to see Elgar Pioneer because <clears throat> this is one thing that can take a shot of ball left. Um, Valiant gets iron uh, by Jules. I think he was grid fishing for sure. Sure. Uh, Valiant. Thing is, the Tusk is still too high on health. The Valiant. If the Valiant has knockoff, that's my big thing. If the Valiant has knockoff and rather go wait, ghost or knockoff instead on my um so I can't have Iron Iron Crown doesn't make sense to go to. Because if I go to Dragapult, you're cooked. You lose a mon. She's gonna go Valiant. I wanted to actually the, the guard matchup versus Valiant. Valiant has knockoff, uh, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Uh, he goes Iron Crown, very bad play, very bad play. You never go, like, you're a Mon down unnecessarily. Now, I get the Iron Crown from the standpoint of you don't want the Dragonite matchup versus the Booster Val. There's probably a part of me who's like, okay, well, I can just Booster Val you anyway. All right, so it's like, uh, okay. Um, Oh, he goes hard Valiant. That's that's game, man. That guarantees me the victory. All I have to do is set Garganical. I don't think he thought that through. I have to do a set Garganical and go D Knight. You switch out and I shot a ball sweep. Because even even if you switch, you have to go Tusk. And it's not AV Tusk, so I've confirmed that. I go Iron Crown and try to hit me with the moves. I still have Terror in hand, so that's something that the Great Tusk. The worst case scenario would be the Tusk uh, rapid spinning a bunch of times. Uh, so my best bet here, I think, is to D dance. What's the worst case scenario? He has close combat and rapid spin. My best player is to Dragon Dance the first turn. I Terra Dragon Dance. Okay, it covers for rapid spin. Um, my Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner into extreme speed. I mean, it could be one the the rogue, the only motherfucking close combat Great Tusk on the ladder. At long rush, yeah, I figured. Um, but it was improbable. It was improbable. This team is <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> this team is not good. I'm gonna grab one last game. One last game. Uh, 
bros, please send me some teams. We 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 need some we need some teamage out here, man. We need some teamage out here. Please send me some team. This is a cool ass team. This is so cool. I I really like Bulk Up's Zapdos here. Unfortunately, I cannot. I'm gonna have to terrestrialize. I Bulk Up those bros. I'm not. It, I'm not with it with the weirdos and the motherfucking Joy Scarf, Mira Scaradas, but Dragon Knight late game. So many possibilities. I think it's just figuring out what the trickery is. Because Iron Defense, Terra Fairy Garg, Smashes. Like, Pult washes his team. But if it's uh, an Azu or. Um, because Azu offensively is quite problematic. Um, yeah, that Azu boy it might be worth worth interfering guard early. I'm staring down Rillaboom early turn one. Let's mean I'm buying. I get so much value from that Azu. I doubt Rillaboom would be his choice. So if he opts for Miar Scarada, this means this is very likely Choice Scarf. Um, I cannot risk this thing tricking me. Where are those Abdos are? Actually, this could just Ice Spinner. Could be um, Icicle. But that one move, you know what I'm talking about. Knock into the gold and go. But let's say it is that one move. Knocking into gold and go worth it. No, we Bray Bird here. Yeah, this fool fucking stayed in. Thank God for that. Because that could have been rough. That could have been rough. Him weakening my dose is a pretty big deal. Like, dose is really important, and I probably won't get my health back. Unless I terror and abuse his grassy terrain. But, um. And Azu's a phenomenal next spawn because are you, like, are you gonna Aqua Jet? Am I gonna? You know what I'm saying? I, I doubt he wants to take Brave Bird damage. Prim is mid. Prim is good, but Prim is mid. You play us directly, and it's not banded. So this is great. It's Prim. He has to go for. Uh, he has to go for what's it called again? And Prim is good. Prim is something I want to keep, particularly with the terrain up. Gonna play off again. It's a crit there, which is really annoying because now um, I have to recover and I have to show him that I'm Terra Fairy. Otherwise, he would have stayed in. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Be like that sometimes. 100% uh, Iron Head, but I'm looking at what Garg beats Zamazenta 10 times out of 10. Garg beats, but Iron Defense, Garg beats everything except that Golden Go. Uh, me losing leftovers matters. Matters a lot. Cost me a lot. But man, if he didn't crit me, I would have been able to. Because with, I think he's Assault Vest, and with that, uh, the Iron, the Iron Trace damage, with the Salt Cure damage, he'd be at like 50%, which makes him Shadow Ball Fodder. He's kind of Shadow Ball Fodder as it is. I don't know what this, this Driller is going to do. But, um,. What do uh, I want to do here? I think you always iron head here. Especially if I go dose. Being a little greedy here. Oh, Prim. I survive. It's life orb, okay. So the driller will die if he's not careful. I'll drain kiss this turn. The driller will die if he doesn't switch. This is great. I saw Kiro was big, especially because he's life orb. So I'm probably staring down Rillaboom. Ah, uh, worth doubling to dose. I think it is worth doubling to dose. Azu's gonna come. Azu, uh, no. Dose is legitimate. Because dose, if he just leaves it in, will die. The perm is at 10%. Because he's life orb, you'll die to salt cure damage because it's 25%. It'll put him at. Actually, no. You'll, you'll live on 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%
But that's just treads. Yeah, you live on one percent. But it doesn't matter because that's just leftovers from my Zapdos. So oh, gonna knock here. The off chance he does some whack shit like go building. Well, he does do said whack shit. Um, so my Zapdos is escaping. Now I get to get up rocks here, which is big. But that kills the driller. And thus, these rocks are gonna be very useful for the Ozzy and my eventual um, Shadow Ball spam. Something must be. Was that seed? What was this item? Does he U turn or does he go for um, Wood Hammer? Wood Hammer would actually be fine because you get. Yeah. Can't grass divide. A free EQ? He dies to recoil. This is a useful mon. But ooh, that's a big crit. He's forfeiting here. That's a big crit. Bro is a motherfucking. I am not a give up her. I respect it. So I definitely want this. Yeah, the motherfucking gold angle and earthquake is free as hell. Uh my Dragonite's um a Dragonite's, what's it called? Doesn't matter here. Uh, we're just Ice Spinner. Yeah, we Ice Spinner because we don't want uh, any terrain up with the Gold Angle. I think he does the weird shit with this. I want to tread so badly. A Dragonite's the best play. He hexes, he predicted my treads. Which I think seals the deal. I think seals the deal. Um, especially because they terror did. That definitely seals the deal now. Alright, so, so that said, we were going to be our last battle. So we're back to 18. Which is great. Which is great. And uh, we're going to round it up there because I need this to actually render. So, you beautiful people, I will see you guys tomorrow. Art of War coming out soon. Guys, get ready to tell all your friends. Is definitely something that's going to be transformational so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace